this girl does not have the look. Who says that's the only look? No one looks like that. I don't even look like that. People come in all shapes and sizes and they're all beautiful. to my channel it's your girl Naomi J and I'm back at it again with another movie reaction I, I didn't get to say this in my last video but I posted it on, on my community page but if you haven't checked that out I just want to thank you guys so much for 500 subscribers like I really appreciate you guys and it's just like oh my gosh like ooh, I can't believe 500 of y'all watching me when I think about it it's a little scary yeah <laughs> but i thank you guys so much for your support and i just thank you guys so much for your comments and just enjoying the content that i put out it takes a lot of time and a lot of effort so i really appreciate you guys for enjoying it and just interacting with me so thanks so today as you can tell i don't know for my people like that are just like very vigilant and just on the know all the time you can tell by like my hairstyle and the yellow okay we're gonna be watching beauty and the beast today i love beauty and the beast like Belle is honestly one of my favorite disney princesses i think it goes it's like rapunzel and tiana is hard for first for me and then it's bell no and then it's mulan and then it's Belle. so yeah but sometimes they all interchange but yes Belle is definitely top five for me. I love Belle. I love the fact that she read books because I was an avid reader when I was younger and still am today, but I just don't be having the time to read. But yeah, enough of the ranting. But yes, I love Belle and I'm just so excited to watch it. I haven't watched it in a while, so I'm really excited. And oh, also, I had the 2002 DVD version of Disney. You feel me? That's when I like first watched Beauty and the Beast. And they had the song called Human Again. When we're human again. I don't know if y'all know. But they deleted it off the theatrical release. So I wasn't born for the theatrical release. It came out in 91. I was born in 96. But I only know the 2002 version. So apparently on Disney Plus they don't have the Human Again version. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add it in. Because I can. And I love that song. I don't even know why they deleted it. Like that was that was a class A song. It was, it was elite. I love that song. I don't. They did a disservice by deleting it. So, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna sing along with it. I'm gonna, just gonna add it in there. After something there, there may be something there. I'm gonna add it after. So yeah, mm -hmm. cause no, I love that song. So anyway, <laughs> let me stop ranting and let's get started. Disney movie a day keeps the trauma away. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. <sighs> the intro to this cinematic brilliance. Like one of the best Disney intros I've ever seen and heard in my life. Just the animation. I'm just, oh my gosh. If I didn't already have a dream to be a lawyer, I would want to be like a film scorer, composer, or an animator or something like, I love movies, like. Once upon a time, a young prince lived in a shining castle. An old beggar woman offered him a single rose for shelter. The prince turned the old woman away. She warned him not to be deceived by appearances, for beauty is found within. The old woman's ugliness melted away, revealed a beautiful enchantress. The prince tried to apologize. She transformed him into a hideous beast. Now, TBH, I understand what the enchantress was trying to do. And I saw a think piece on this. I don't know. I don't know if it was a think piece, but I saw someone's opinion on it. And basically, they said that this, the, um, when the beast got older, it takes place like 10 years later. So the beast was 21 later when bell met him so that means he was 11 so it's like low-key and was kind of harsh like how you gonna turn an 11 year old into a beast low-key 
and also he didn't have like parents and everything he was an orphan so it's kind of like yeah i don't want to open the door for strangers like y'all seen snow white she was an old beggar woman but it was a witch in disguise i mean the enchantress um, the witch. okay kind of like that but she was evil like the um snow white one but how is he supposed to know that he's 11. so i mean the punishment didn't fit the crime like she could have gave him a good talking to but turning him to a beast like he's 11. give him a chance <laughs> like come on but hey he had to learn his lesson if he could learn to love and earn her love by the time the last petal fell the spell would be broken if not he would remain a beast for all time he fell into despair lost all hope for who could ever learn to love a beast <clears throat> let me get in my singing bag hold on hold on <laughs> if my voice cracks mind your business okay there's our girl takes me back to my living room in childhood watching this movie like <laughs> there goes the baker with his tray like always the same old bread and rolls to sell i want a baguette now <laughs> i just finished the most wonderful story and that's I nice marie the baguettes hurry up we do not care Look, there she goes, the girl is strange, no question. She's a funny girl that She got these people shook, child. That's what I'm trying to be. I'm trying to, I'm trying to walk into a room and just, you know, my presence just got everybody shook. <laughs> ah, Belle. Good morning. I've come to return the book I borrowed. I miss libraries. Got anything new? Not since yesterday. I'll borrow <laughs> this one. But you've read it twice. So, and I'm gonna read it again. Borrow places, daring sword fights, magic spells, a prince in disguise. <laughs> there was a there was a meme that said that the book she was describing was like Harry Potter and the Half Blood Prince, cause like Snape was the hidden prince in disguise, and then sword fights and spells. I was like, oh, okay, cool. Uh, Gaston evil. Gaston is evil, but he, he do look good though. Like I like him. I like him. You feel me? Panther's daughter. She's the one. She's the most beautiful girl in town. Oh, that oh. makes her the best. All right, shallow. Shallow and narcissistic. Like he's not. He only have red flags. His flags are burning. Like. Isn't he dreaming? Y'all be weak in the knees. Stand up. I say that when I was just I was just checking him a couple minutes ago. Whatever. There must be more than this provincial life. Choir. Bell. Bonjour, Gaston. Gaston, may I have my book, please? How can you read this? There's no pictures. Some of us have brains. It's about time you got your head out of those books and paid attention to more important things. Like me. See, that would be mad. No. <sighs> That's how pick me women are. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh, he's so narcissistic and he does the bare minimum. Like, oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, stand up. Stand up, I'm talking to y'all. Whoever y'all pick me women are. I, mm. Back to the schedule program. Take a look at my trophies. Maybe some other time. What's wrong with her? She's crazy. He's gorgeous. There's more to life than looks. Papa? Got it. Are you all right, Papa? I, I'm, I'm about ready to give up in this. Uncle John. He's so cute. 
Did you have a good time in town today? I got a new book. Me, my days don't be eventful at all. <laughs> There's no one I can really talk to. What about that Gaston? He's a handsome fella. And rude and conceited. Like, I'm not Rihanna. I cannot stand a rude boy. <laughs> Let's give it a try. <laughs> It does? I wish someone in my family was an inventor. That would be so cool. Hitch up, police girl. I'm off to the fair. <laughs> you got a big storm coming. You ain't going no fair. Goodbye, Papa. Good luck. Goodbye, Belle. I really love the animation. This makes me want to go out to the country. And I'm not even a country girl. I'm a city girl. But this is so beautiful, like... I don't know, maybe one day, just like, be in somebody's meadow, somebody's field, you know? See, nah. <laughs> this used to scare me when I was younger. I'm like, it's getting too dark. <laughs> Turn back around. <laughs> the horse had the right idea. <laughs> okay. Let's go this way. He said, are you, are you, are you daft? <laughs> Come on, baby. it's a shortcut. How do you know it's a shortcut? You've never been there. <laughs> See, nah. Not the fog. Is it too loud? We're like, is it too late to turn back around? Like, See, nah. <laughs> they lost me with the wolves. Uh -huh. Jacob, <laughs> place. <laughs> This can't be right. Where have you taken us, Philippe? What you mean? See, nah, I couldn't be no horse because I would have been like, oh, like I would have been mad. I would have been talking to him like, what are you talking about? Like, I told you to go this way. How you gonna blame me now? Oh, look out! Whoa. Goodbye, goodbye. Hey. <laughs> I'm gone. He said, you got yourself into this mess. I don't blame Philippe, child. I don't blame the horse. Because he told you from the beginning. Like, he told you. Let's go the other way. He's going to say, it's a shark guy. Mm -mm. Boy, see, they would have just had to get me. Because, uh, yeah. Help! Ain't no way I'm surviving this. Like, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not surviving that. Like, Unless God physically would have picked me up with his hands and placed me <laughs> right where I need to be. Ain't no way I'm surviving this. <laughs> but that castle is gorgeous though. Even though it is a little haunted, like the haunted vibes, but it's beautiful. Hello. Nah, I'd be scared because you don't know whose place, whose house you're going into. Like, I get it's raining, but it's scary, child. Like, not a word, Lenny. Not one word. I've lost my horse, and I need a place to stay. Oh, Cogsworth. Have a I love Lumiere and Cogsworth. I love all of them. Mrs. Potts. All of them. Over here. Where? I know. <gasps> Cena, I would have been screaming. I would have left. Nah. What is this accomplished? What do you mind? I've never seen a duck. <laughs> Sir, hand over your mouth when you sneeze, or like this. <sighs> Warm yourself by the fire. <laughs> Sir, it'll warm you up in no time. <laughs> His mustache tickles, Mama. Oh, that's so cute. I love, I love Chip. Hello. <laughs> You're not welcome here. Staring at nothing. I mean, you yelling at me like, what else am I supposed to do? Oh, 
You've come to stare at the beast, have you? Please! Acting like a monster? So yeah, I'm gonna look at you like a monster. One plus one is two. Hello? Maybe if you were kind. <laughs> Thank you all for coming to my wedding. First, I better go in there and propose to the girl. <laughs> you know what? That confidence is amazing to have. <laughs> you don't even know if she's gonna say yes or no or not, and you already got the wedding prepped. Like... Child, that's a level of confidence I aspire to have. Not for like a wedding or anything, but just like life. Like, just walking in like I'm, like, my dreams already come true. Shoot. <laughs> uh, me every day. Me every day. Gaston, what a... Child, your pants too tight. <laughs> Go back. Go back outside. To this. A rustic hunting lodge and my little wife massaging my feet. Sir, stop getting my books dirty. Like, it's a library book. Trash. <laughs> it's not mine. It's a library book. Huh. I know his feet stink. Say you'll marry me. I'm very sorry, uh, Gaston. He gives me predator vibes. I don't know. Um, but, but... Sir, did I say I want to kiss you? I don't deserve you. Oh, that grinds my gears. Like, read the room. Like, you can't read a book. The least you could do is read the room. I'll have <laughs> Belle for my wife. Make no mistake about that. It's never that deep, like... He asked me to marry him. Me, the wife of that boorish, brainless. She reading him for filth. She said, I don't just read books, I read people too. <laughs> for filth. I guarantee if I want much more than his provincial mind. What you want, girl? I want adventures in the great wide somewhere. I love those little things. I don't know what to call them, but used to like we used to blow them and they did like the like the spurs. What are they called? I used to love those. Take me back to childhood. Ugh. One way ticket. <laughs> okay. Where's Papa? We have to find him. You have to take me to him. He like, dang, I just got back. Like, ugh. I don't know, he's sick. <laughs> Having to go back there again. He's like, I barely made it out alive the first time. What is this place? He said, beats me. Papa? Are you here? Mama, there's a girl in the castle. Now, Chip, I'll not have you making up such wild stories. Really, Mama? That's how you know they fell into despair, because... That's how you know they fell into despair and lost all hope, like the, um... Like the narrator said in the beginning not just the beast but all of them because it's like the fact that you could not even let yourself believe that something can drastically change you know that just goes to show you you just lost your hope she's like girl and he's like she's like i don't want to hear any stories i don't want to hear nothing like she couldn't even believe and fathom that hey maybe i can have hope about this i can have hope that i'll be human again so yeah in this essay i will <laughs> It's a girl. I know it's a girl. Don't she has come to break the spell. Wait a minute. The thing is, though, they could have been wrong. What if, what if Belle was married? What would y'all do then? How did you find me? I want you to leave this place. Who's done this to you? Belle wants to scrap. <laughs> you must go now. I won't leave you. What are you doing here? Ah, uh, you don't gotta grip me like not too much on me. Don't grip me like that. He's my prisoner. Wait. Take me instead. You would take his place? She's bold. But I would have done it. I would have done it for anybody I loved, honestly. I would have. I may have hesitated. I would have I would have hesitated a little. But I still would have done it at the end of the day. You must promise to stay here forever. <sighs> forever. You have my word. Done. Forever, like you're bugging my guy. I've been like, let's, I'm like, let's make a change. How about I be your indenture service for about a year? 
how that works. Like, I will be bargaining. One thing about me, I'm a bargain. I'm gonna bargain. <laughs> like, trust me, you do not want me to be here forever. I will bother you. <laughs> I will annoy him so much to the point that he has to let me go. <laughs> I'm like, y'all, you still wanna, you still want me to be here forever? Yeah. Wait. Bill. Wait. You didn't even let me say goodbye. I'll never see him again. Look at him feeling bad now. I'll show you to your room. My room? You want to you stay in the tower? No. Then follow me. That's pretty poovish because why could my dad get a room? Like, <laughs> like dang, you could have gave him a room too. All the rooms, you put him, you put him in a dungeon. Yeah, you destroyed her life. <laughs> I uh, hope you like it here. Nah, she better than me. Cause as soon as he talking, I'm like, what are you talking about? <laughs> you, I was like, you hope I like it here. What are you talking about? You stole my life. I've been sick. I would look at him like, are you drunk? Like, how you gonna take my freedom and then try to be nice? Oh, I hope you like it here. I hope you enjoy your stay. <laughs> this ain't this ain't the Hilton Hotel. <laughs> Who does she think she is? That girl has tangled with the wrong man. No one says no to Gaston. <laughs> you just gonna have to deal with it. Heal, sir. Heal. That's how, that's how these men in the podcast be sounding. Heal. Please heal. You're everyone's favorite guy. Clearly not Bells. <laughs> and it's not very hard <laughs> to see why. I wonder if The Rock can do that. Cause he seems like he has the same build as Gaston, low key. One minute later. I eat five dozen eggs, so I'm roughly the size of a boy. Okay, tenor bag. Getting into my tenor bag. <laughs> Someone help me! He's got her locked in the dungeon. Who's got Bell locked in a dungeon? A monstrous beast! <laughs> <laughs> Nah, but like reputation is really everything in this society, which really sucks because it's like now y'all not even gonna hear me because I'm the crazy lunatic when there's actually danger going on. That's crazy. This is impossible. I told you she was pretty, Mama. Didn't I? Wanna see me do a trick? No. Chip. Chip is giving me baby fever. I've lost my father. My dreams everything it'll turn out all right in the end that's what they all say but it really does though it really does turn out all right in the end what's taking so long i told her to come down why isn't she here yet like you could learn to be empathetic sir i thought i told you to come down to dinner I'm... that's not gonna help her fall for you Will you come down to dinner? No. Hmm? As she should. I'm not gonna sit there and wanna chop it up with you after you just stole my life. Like, can we? <laughs> then then go, go ahead, ahead and stop! She doesn't eat with me. She doesn't eat at all. She doesn't eat at all. He was bugging. If I had heard that, I'd be like, you know what? Let's go downstairs and eat, cause I'm not starving. I'm not. <laughs> But come in, come on, big baby. Like, don't even talk to me. Don't look at me. Just pass me the, pass me the meat. Pass me the turkey. Pass me the chicken. Like, oh, you want me to be here so bad. I am a little hungry. You are? The most iconic song? Be our guest. Be our guest. Put our service to the... Child. I want the whole menu. Period. What's up there? Absolutely nothing of interest at all in the West Wing. Oh, so yes. that's the West Wing. Wonder what he's hiding up there. Bell's too <laughs> for me though, like. Yeah, because I don't want to get caught in nothing. You already lost your freedom. Actually, no, at this point. You had nothing to lose. So, yeah, at this point, you might as well be curious. <gasps> easy. Not too much on me. Take it easy. Take it easy. 
All right, you see. Get out! Oh, you set yourself up. Okay, great. So now I definitely don't got to come back. I definitely don't got to stay here because you said get out. So I don't got to stay here forever. I'd have been like, so what does that mean? I'm free? You know what? <laughs> Minor details. I'll just head out. <sighs> Jacob, tell you when you pack. Like, go. Go somewhere. We love a hero. Alright, we may not be that mad anymore. Nah, I'm not as mad. I don't know if it's what's that what's it what's it called when someone like saves your life and you start loving them? It's some type of syndrome. Like, I don't know what to call it, but I see I sense that a lot. Like I feel like if a man saves my life, like and I'm about to die, like I think I will fall in love with him. I really would. I don't care who he looks like, it doesn't matter. If he if you save my life, I think I'll love you forever. Like I will love you. I'll be in love with you. I don't know what it is. It's some type of complex. I don't know. Yeah, come on, girl. It's only right. It's only right. Now hold still. This might sting a little. <laughs> Thank you for saving my life. You're welcome. Okay. Hearts are softening. Hearts are softening. Love that for them. I love the good enemies to lovers. <laughs> Y'all know, y'all already know what the deal is here. <laughs> so you want me to throw her father into the asylum unless she agrees to marry you? I love it. Like, sir, you're that desperate and sadistic and morally enslaved and morally bankrupt? Intellectually subservient? Like, you really are gonna blackmail Belle into marrying you? Like, what's not clicking? What's not clicking? <laughs> I've never felt this way about anyone. I want to do something for her. You're on the right track, sir. But what? Well, there's the usual things, flowers, chocolates, chocolates. Promises, don't promises you don't intend to keep. <laughs> right? <laughs> Talk about it, Cogsworth. It has to be something very special. Something that sparks her interest. That's precisely right. That's precisely right. You gotta do something that sparks their interest. Like, it's important to do that because you could just get the generic stuff, but once you really, like, it just shows that you're listening. Like, I love that. I love that. Like, she loves books, so get her a library. We love that. We love men who think. There may be something there that wasn't there before. What's there, Mama? I'll tell you when you they always say that stuff, but they never tell they never tell you when you're older. We interrupt this program for an important news announcement. Alright, so y'all know what time it is. One minute later. Like my aunts and like <laughs> my sister and stuff used to bathe me when I was really really young. They'd be all rough, like they like oh, <laughs> soap all in my face. Like, <laughs> come on, yellow, come on, yellow. Oh, I love. I need. I need that dress with those gloves. Like, I want to wear gloves like that, like up here with a nice like gown. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. Taylor's oldest time. Period. Romantic dinner for two. <laughs> Iconic. Iconic. As an adult, the romance is a little rushed, I'm not gonna lie. But as a kid, you know, it, it mean, it's still beautiful, but in real life, like, who fall in love in three days? I mean, some people do. I don't know, child. Not me, though. But <laughs> some people do. Father, please. 
Yikes. Just as she was having a good time, too. You, you must go to him. What did you say? I release you. Dang. That's selfless right there. He knew what it would mean for him, but he still let her grow. He still let her go. Like that's a man right there. Ooh, child, the way he caressed my hair, I <laughs> I would be tempted to not leave, but I'm like, oh crap, my dad. <laughs> like, I'll be like, hold on. <laughs> Aww, reunited, and it feels so good. Can I help you? I've come to collect your father. Get out. Hmm. I might be able to clear up this little misunderstanding if you marry me. Sir, you are a loser. I don't want you, bruh. <sighs> Show me the beast. <laughs> yeah, she was telling the truth. He's my friend. If I didn't know better, I'd think you had feelings for this monster. He's no monster, Gaston. You are. A beast will make off with your children. We're not safe till his head is mounted on my wall. Kill the beast! It's the manipulation for me. <laughs> the mist through the woods, through the darkness of the shadows. It's a about though. It's an exciting ride. <laughs> Like the be if the beast is minding his own business, why would you willingly go to the castle and try to kill it? Like kill the kill him. Like I don't get it. Hmm. Uh. This this how people get got. Leave these animals alone, child. Shout out to Chip. My boy's a boy genius. <laughs> okay. Mm. Bro, can't you see he's heartbroken? He's not even trying to fight you. You punk for that. Yeah, what's, what's all that talk now? Now you're over here screaming. Oh, no, no. Nah. Keep the same energy. Keep the same energy, Gaston. Please, don't hurt me. I'll do anything. Not you talking about some help me. Nah, where's the energy? What happened? Get the bee's better than me. I'll... One time for one time. <laughs> like, nah. I mean, he just tried to kill you. I'm sorry. I, I can't. I can't let my guard down because even though you saved their life, they're not going to think, oh, wow, you saved my life. Let me, let me cool off. No, they still be trying to come back and be like, let me try to get, try again. Like, you thought I gave you life so you can try again? You thought I saved your life so you can try again? I should have just, you know what? I hate when people do, I hate when the villains be doing that. Like, you came back. See? Let your guard down though. Yeah, that's what you get. Uh-huh. Good for you. Nah. Doing three much. You should have just enjoyed your life. Should have just been like, you know what? I've been I've been I've been wildin'. Let me calm down. Let me go home. Let me get some food. Food helps everything. At least I got to see you one last time. No, nah, when I first saw this when I was younger, I'm like, no, don't tell me. Like, I was really distraught. I'm like, ain't no way. Boy, ain't no way. Not my boy. I love you. It took you long enough to say it, girl. Nah, this transformation scene. Elite. Cinematic brilliance. With his hair, I say yes. <laughs> you know he look good when his hands look good. I was like, per. <laughs> Come on, or 
orchestra. Child, he was fine. I don't care what y'all say. I wish we had got to see more of the human version of the beast. Apparently his name is Adam. They never said that explicitly in the movie, but I found out like when I was younger that that's what they intended to call him. Mia. Cogsworth. Oh, Mrs. Potts. We love that for them. This really just takes me back to my childhood. I'm gonna cry. I love this movie. It's still iconic. Like, top five. Top five. Like, I keep saying that for every Disney movie because I don't know. Like, I just, uh, I love it. But thank you guys so much for joining me, and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye.